Increasing reinsurance premiums globally remain a concern for Prime Minister of Barbados, Mia Amor Motley. The heights in insurance costs come at a time when some insurers are taking even more drastic action in a number of places, withdrawing from states such as California and Florida because of the wildfires and flooding respectively. With the issue already hitting closer to home, I asked Prime Minister Motley about the implications. The Caribbean, given the climate crisis, is at risk. Yep. Tell me about the implications of uh, losing uh, access to reinsurance totally or losing access to reinsurance at an affordable rate. Well, let me break it down simple. You're going to buy a house, you get a mortgage. You need a mortgage, you need mortgage insurance. If people can't get insurance for that, they're in trouble or the cost of the insurance is prohibitive, then you may not get the loan. If you can't get the loan, you'll have to go back to how people used to build houses in the past. Remember where people used to buy 50 blocks and put down, and another 50 blocks and put down? From a global perspective, it caused way he, Ia Hen, Secretary General of the Insurance Development Forum, IDF, says access to reinsurance is critical. We have islands in the Caribbean that we know overnight lose 200 percent in terms of GDP. Uh, and as you said, insurance is very important because it's about how do you ensure there's access to financing that can help not only governments but also people, communities cope. She notes that there are strategies on the table but they would call for integration. The Caribbean actually pioneered the first multi-country risk pool in the world. Uh, and that was driven by the efforts of the Caribbean to really try to figure out how can they access, to your point, better insurance rates uh, and increase just access to coverage across the Caribbean. Ms. Ia Hen stresses the need to invest in resilience to reduce risks. The fact is that we are going to be seeing more and more increasing events, shocks happening. Um, we have to think carefully about where we are building our infrastructure, what is the quality of that infrastructure. Um, and that is an important factor because that informs the exposure and the vulnerabilities within countries. Reinsurance rates are projected to peak in 2024. Reporting from Washington, D.C., Crystal Hoyt, CBC News.